Hey everybody, this is Anthony from Into the Dark Room, and I'm going to show you how to create your homepage on the Saren HTML5 site. And this is the homepage that we're going to be creating. So what you're going to notice is there is a header at the top with images. It auto plays. We have captions that are appearing. We have hot links down here that link to different areas, and we have our homepage text. So I'm going to go ahead and log into the backend, and I'm going to click on the content tab and I'm gonna click new and I am going to call this home page um, home page and I am going to click on the home page page to tell it what I want to create and I'm going to set this as home page so I'm gonna go ahead, go ahead and click create page at the bottom and now my home page page is created on the left so I'm gonna go ahead and click on it and I'm gonna start adding content to it so the first thing I'm going to do is come into the image list and I'm going to upload some images. So I'm going to add files to from my computer and I am going to look for uh, some images that I already have cropped and saved web ready and I'm going to allow them to upload. And when the green check marks are done, I'm going to go ahead and click done and now my images are in my image list. So I can go ahead and sort these if I like and I can you know move them around um, and determine what order I want them in. And once I have them sorted, I can save it, and I can start renaming them and adding information to them. So if I click on any one of them and I click Edit, I can change the title, and you know we can just name this title, and I can add uh, a description to it. Now this is great for search engine optimization. I suggest you come back and and SEO your your images by adding this information, but it's also information that you could have appear or not appear as a caption. So change the information on that one image, and we'll see what that looks like later. Uh, now I'm going to go ahead and start to make my uh, hotspot links which look like this down here so I'm gonna go ahead and go to my entries tab and I'm gonna click new and I'm going to title this let's say about and I want to upload a new image so I'm gonna search for an image that I already have cropped and saved web ready I'm gonna click that image open it allow it to load and then I'm going to link to a page I created and I'm going to find uh, the page that I want to link to and we'll call it the info page and I'm going to allow it to open in the same window because it's a, it's linking to an internal page. So I'm going to click Save. And I'm going to click Create Entry. So there is my About link. And I'm going to create another one. Here's New. And I'm going to call this, ex I'm going to call this, um, call this Blog. And this is going to be my example for an external link. So I'm going to find an image. And I'm going to type in a URL here that is HTTP colon forward slash forward slash www.google.com. Now let's pretend that this is actually linking externally to your blog or to any other site that you want it to link to. I want it to open in a new window. I don't want it to close my website when they click on it. So I want it to open in a new window and I want to create entry. So I have two entries in there. I'm not going to fill out any more. You can go ahead and fill out more if you like. Um, I'm going to come over to the settings tab and I have a my grid column tells how many of these entries I have. So I have two right now and if I change this to two it's gonna uh, it's gonna allow those two images to, to sit there nicely and spread across but I'm just gonna go ahead and and change it to, to four and kinda show you what it looks like when uh, there, are, there are some missing images. I'm not gonna use the watermark, I'm gonna turn this off because I don't have any uh, watermarks uploaded and I'm going to show image captions and those image captions will appear on the header uh, right here. So we're doing like some general setup for this page. I'm going to allow it to auto start the slideshow and I'm going to keep my timer at five seconds. So the header timer, uh, this is the speed it's going to be at, at five seconds. So um, I'm going to add some description to the home page and I'm going to go ahead and click save. And we have another tab to look at which is the tracks tab and if you like you can come down here and click upload and you can upload some mp3s, some mp3 files to this. So we have our home page set up, we have our entries, and we have our header images. So I'm going to come down here and I'm going to click preview and I'm going to show you what the page looks like. And so this is our rough home page. We have um, our images loading. We have um, auto, auto loading, so it's auto going to play. And it's just going to scroll to the next image. I have um, the ability to see the captions here. If I wanted to turn them off in that settings tab, I could have turned them off. Your user can also come in here and just shut it off just like that. Um, and then I have my two entries that I started and I have two more spaces over here because I had four columns 
and I can go ahead and add those if I like. And then I had my welcome text. So welcome text is really important. I suggest you put it in. Uh, again, getting some good SEO text in on your homepage is really important. And I recommend that you take the time to write something. Um, you can use it for, you know, some welcome text or it can be, you know, a special that you're having or some sort of major news that you want to tell people about. But it's, it's a really good idea to get that in there. So that's um, in general how you create your homepage and how you populate it. And I hope that was helpful. If you have any more questions, don't hesitate to contact us through support or go to intothedarkroom.com and let us know what we can do for you. Thanks for watching, guys.